Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is Josh with Tippa Studio, working on a new project that somebody had brought in for me to help clean up the audio with. Um, so let's kind of go through some of the stuff I'm dealing with. Uh, the, apparently the, the footage that they filmed and did their edits on is DaVinci Resolve, which is a good, definitely a good program. Um, he uploaded it all to a hard drive, brought it over for me to open it up and take a look at some of the audio files that he did. Uh, so what he had done is he had gone through, done all his edits and took the hard drive over to one gentleman, I guess, who's doing the color correction for him and asked if I could help him out with the audio aspect of it. Um, I do use Adobe uh, Cloud for, for just about everything I do. And so I'm going to pull open the file that he gave me real quick and show you what he had on his file. So what he had done is he had taken, he did a compressed edit, put all the, the files onto the hard drive, which he brought over to me. And then at the very bottom, there's the XML document for the timeline to show all his edits and everything that he had done. Um, I went ahead and transferred it all over to uh, Adobe Premiere 2020. And I immediately came across an issue as soon as I tried to import it all, uh, telling me that a lot of the files weren't found. So I'm going to drag his timeline into my Premiere to show you what I'm kind of looking at here. I'm going to condense that so you can see more of the timeline. Pull this in a little bit more too. So what you're looking at here is his video files and audio files. And what you'll notice on the audio is that there's a lot of unlinked audio files in his program. Uh, there is some that are linked, which is working fine. You can see down on the audio track down below that it's picking up the audio. But again, all this red stuff, it's just not linked to any file or folder or anything weird like that. <clears throat> so what I started doing is searching all over Google and trying to figure out how come the import is acting so weird. And I didn't really find anything that answered the questions. Again, all the files he gave me were uh, .mov files. So that's what I have to work with. <clears throat> so when I started going into some of these red ones and clicking link media, I'm noticing it's given me the, the BRAW file name, which is what he did his edits off. He uh, filmed his movie off of black magic cameras. Um, but if you notice how the, the, BRAW file name it starts with an A and then it kind of goes into a series of numbers and I look at the MOV files they all start with V or uh, I believe it was like CC or something like that yeah so they all start with V um, but then the audio is listed after the title for the video so like Here's where all the A's start on these ones to kind of show what's going on. So the only workaround I've figured out so far is when I go into locate, I'll copy the audio file name. And then I'll get back into the folder that he gave me under compressed to edit. And then I'll do a search for just that audio name. And see here it brought one clip up. 
it starts with a V, but here in the middle you can see where it starts to say the, the A number. So if I click on that and I hit OK, it'll drop the clip in. But it's not lining up remotely correctly. So I'm going to make this offline again. And I'm going to try this a different way. I'm going to... That wasn't supposed to click off. Link media, media start. Um, there is no tape name, uh, clip ID. I don't think there's any relevance to that. I'm going to hit locate again. I'm going to do a search for that file again. There it is. Hit OK. Drop it in. There's nothing there. So even at that, it's not really helping me. What I think is happening here is if I stretch out his file, I'll eventually find where his audio clip is. Yep, see, there it is way over here. So obviously that isn't the best solution because I'm gonna it's gonna take me forever to sit there and try to line everything up and then try to get it to the point where it's synced up to the actor's voice. So it doesn't look like his talking before his mouth is moving or so on and so forth. So that's one problem I'm dealing with is that's <clears throat> that's really a long way to go to get each and every one of these red clips put together. Another issue I'm dealing with too is, let's see if this one will give me an example. Uh, so same thing, it's telling me that it's looking for a B-RAW, it's giving me the file name. But if I go to locate, I just copy the audio part. And then I do a search back in his folder. See, now it's given me three different files with that same audio name mixed into the title. So the problem with that is, how do I know which file to use? The only way I've really been able to even figure that part out is by going into this, doing a search, and it pulls up the three audio files for me. But then I still have to figure out which one it is. So I end up having to open up each one of these individually in a different player. See if I could find the one that matches what I'm seeing on the screen. And then I select that one. Uh, for this particular file, I'm just going to take a wild guess. So chances are it won't be accurate. But I'll pick this last one. Hit OK. So obviously now I've got another issue I'm dealing with because I don't want to sit here and go through each one of these files, stretch it out, try to match it up to his lips, lip sync, <clears throat> and get it to line up correctly. Um, like I said, I've searched Google all over the place. I've done some research on B-RAW files itself. And it doesn't seem to be anything to do with the new plugin that uh, <clears throat> Blackmagic came out with to import B-RAW files in a Premiere. Because if I drag a B-RAW file in, uh, just a raw, unedited clip, it'll pull up just fine. It'll show the video. It'll show the audio. It'll play just fine. No issues. But for some reason, either... 
through the way he did his export or or something it's just not syncing up to all his edits um, and it's just causing more of a headache because this would just take a lot of work just to add in an audio clip when it should just be drag and drop so if anybody has any ideas out there on what would help to make this process more fluent so I could just drag the files in call it good um, I'd appreciate your guidance on this let's try something here link media locate Again, just copy the audio part of the file. Um, get back into the folder that... Again, there's three files, and so... I really don't know how I'm supposed to match these up quick and efficiently and it's just not making any sense to me. So if anybody out there figures this out or knows the workaround for this ahead of time, <clears throat> just drop me a message, let me know and I'll do an update video to show anybody else who's dealing with this um, the solution. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. In the meantime, I'm going to keep working on it and see if I can figure out what's going on. More than likely, um, it has to do with either the files that were delivered or the way it was exported. And whatever the case is, um, again, if we figure it out or if you, somebody shoots me a message on how they figured it out, I'll make an update video for anybody else dealing with the issue. Um, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the little bell button. Uh, follow us because we're planning on putting out a lot, a lot more videos um, in regards to every obstacle that we come across on a regular basis. Everything from camera op to formats to shutter speeds to uh, depth of field there's pretty much anything that we come across that we feel needs to be addressed or we're looking for help and looking for solutions for not just ourselves but for other followers that are trying to help figure this stuff out so uh, thanks for watching um, and we will talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.